Hello, I'm Sophie Masson and I'm presenting um, two fun mini workshops that, that I've devised, which call, I call a poetry pair. They work really well together, but they're done separately and they have different um, emphasis. So the first one is uh, performance poems. So it's uh, they're, they're tips to create poetry based on speech, on sound, on um, performance um, to create a trio, a little trio um, around a theme and using three different frameworks. Um, and the other one is called Poem Artworks and it's to create poetry fo focusing on the interaction of words and pictures. Both, both types of workshops have worked really well in schools. So performance poems. So now we think we take a theme and then we, we build it around three different frameworks. So this is the example um, that I've come up with and it's around the body, but around five specific parts of the body, feet, hands, mouth, eyes, and ears. And within that theme, there's three different frameworks, body as music, body as metaphor, body as mini drama. Now the aim is to create three simple poems which are designed to be spoken and performed <clears throat> but which also work on the page really well. So here's an example of body as music. Feet, feet, start the beat. Eyes, eyes, everyone tries. Hand, hand, join the band. Ears, ears, everyone cheers. Oh, my word, that's gone south. Cheering should be done by mouth. So this is a way of really creating something really bouncy and lively and fun and funny. And, and really everybody, students really enjoy um, creating this. Now the second one is body as metaphor. It's a little bit more complicated, but it is, it is very, very, um, still very accessible for primary school students and for high school students as well. So thinking of the body as a house. They say eyes are the windows of the soul. So tell me, where's the door? Let me think. The mouth, of course. And what's the ears then? Well, the veranda perhaps, where soul can sit and listen to all that's going on. And the hands in this house of ours where the soul lives, what are they? Hmm, maybe the aerial, the chimney? Ha, huh. and the feet, easy. They make that soul house get up and walk on magic feet, on chicken feet, down the paths of imagination. So this is a really fun one to do too, and it's can you can come up with some wonderful things when you're using body as metaphor or whatever theme you want to use. Um, and as you can see there, it makes you think a bit further um, about how you can use things like that and just create met them as metaphors. And also you can actually refer back to stories like you know, on magic feet, on chicken feet, which is, of course, Baba Yaga's house. Body as mini drama. Overheard in a haunted house. What's that, say ears? I don't know, says mouth. It's them, say eyes. Let's get out of here, say feet. But the hands can't speak. Something very cold has touched them. So in this poem, you're getting, yes, a mini drama, a mini ghost story set in a haunted house. So this one is also a lot of fun and you have to think about, OK, can I, will I write it as a comedy? Will I write it as a thriller? Will I write it as a ghost story? But it's very simple and just using that that theme and the, those, in this case, the five parts of the body, you can really come up with something fantastic. This idea can be adapted in any kind of way you like. You can center themes around food, animals, birds, colors, magical creatures, whatever you like. Um, you can ask um, the students to suggest themes and you can also add more frameworks to the three basic ones. That is, you know, um, body, um, well, whatever the theme you've chosen as music, as metaphor or as mini drama. And you can also adapt it according to the age of children you are working with to make it more accessible to different ages. Now I will move on to poem artworks. 
So Poem Artworks is inspired by A Boat of Stars, um, in which I have seven poems. And of course, I talked about A Boat of Stars in my presentation, if you've listened to that. Um, and it's a beautiful anthology published in 2018, edited by Margaret Connolly and Natalie Jane Pryor. And it features a wonderful plethora of poems by children's authors from um, you know, from emerging to established authors and emerging to established illustrators. It is the most beautiful book and it really shows that interaction between words and pictures that can work so well with poetry as much as with fiction and picture books. So these are what I call poem artworks, poems expressed in both words and pictures. And in our case, um, it, the um, author and illustrator are going to be the same. The same student is going to create their artwork combining words and pictures. So what you need for this is a selection of topics or themes to choose from, which I'll talk about in a minute, paper for writing drafts, cardboard or stiff paper for the final draft, textures, coloured pencils, pens, crafty art bits and pieces, all kinds of things, whatever you feel like. Old colour magazines are great as well um, for students to be able to cut pictures out. Um, you need scissors and glue and most of all you need your imagination. So you ask the class to suggest topics or themes for the poems, for example, pets, friends, family, food, spooky stuff, holidays, anything they like. And that works really well because everyone's got ideas and you're not fixed with somebody else's idea. But also, if you, if you don't have ideas yourself, you can choose one from what's up on the whiteboard or the blackboard or whatever. So everyone chooses a topic and writes their own short poem. Now, the poem doesn't have to rhyme, doesn't have to be perfect, it can be quite very short. I mean, it can be about really ordinary things or really amazing things. It totally depends on the poet themselves. And I would say use no more than half the time you have for the drafting of the poem. The other half should be for writing up the final draft nicely and illustrating and decorating it. So be discuss beforehand the way in which the pictures can work with the words to form the whole artwork. And sometimes you can even have the words themselves can be part of the dec decoration. You can, you can give them ideas for different fonts and so on. Not everyone feels confident about drawing, but everyone can have fun decorating. And that's the point. You don't have to be a good artist. Children don't have to feel, oh, my God, I can't draw, I can't paint, whatever. I can't do pictures properly. They can cut things out. They can create crafty things. Um, and it works wonders. Honestly, I have always had fantastic response um, from students about this workshop. Here are some examples of artworks created. So there you can see some wonderful ones where one where the, the, the student has used the actual illustration to put their poem in it. Another one where they've actually um, used a picture that they cut out of a magazine. Um, another one there which is just decorated with stickers and, 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 and illustrations. And here are some students working on their on their poem and you can see there they've got they're just having a lot of fun you know creating um, things that that look beautiful once you've finished it you've got a whole beautiful artwork and which can be displayed in the classroom they look fantastic all together And just for fun and to finish off, I would like to give you a reading. Um, and this one is called Introductions. It's from A Boat of Stars, as I'm with the one I mentioned before. And it's some beautiful illustration that you can see there is by Julie Vivas. Introductions. This is, I was very lucky to have a very beautiful, um, one of the first poems in the book. Good morning, baby brother. You're brand new, and that's why. I'm going to tell you who we are so you don't have to cry. Holding you is our lovely mum. Her face just makes us glad. And next to her, a smiling man. That's right, he is our dad. There's grandma and there's grandpa. There's nanny and there's pappy. All they ever want to do is make us very happy. There's our dog and he's our cat. And I think that's the end of that. Oh no, one more, one more to see, dear baby brother. And that's me. 
I hope you've enjoyed you enjoyed that reading. I hope you've enjoyed a poetry pair and please do feel free to use these workshop ideas and presentation with your class, but please don't publish or broadcast them publicly. Thank you very much for listening to me and if you're interested in my presenting in your school, you there's a contact there on the video. Thanks very much.